Hello, my name is Alan Savard. I've been involved with real estate for over 20 years. And this video today is to announce that ex-federal politician Garth Thurner is about to do something that will turn the real estate industry on its head. Mr. Turner has always been very active as a real estate investor. And for several years now, he's been writing a blog that receives millions of hits every year. People from across the country email him for advice about buying and selling. Mr. Turner has never been afraid to say what's on his mind, and because of this, he has made several enemies within the real estate community. But he is about to have the last laugh. I discovered his blog at greaterfool.ca in the spring of 2011, and I have read everything he has written since, and even though I have no proof of this, I believe the man is plotting something big. Something that nobody is expecting. In my opinion, he will soon announce the opening of his very own real estate franchise. But not the traditional kind of real estate franchise, because there are tons of those out there. His company is going to be different because it will be a real estate firm for buyers only. A company that will not take property listings and never work for sellers. A firm 100% dedicated to buyers. A company whose job it will be to protect the little guy and try to negotiate the price of houses down on behalf of the buyer. You see, as an investor, Mr. Turner has been negotiating prices down for himself for a year. And now he's about to do it for others. But what he's going to make his company a huge hit is that he won't be charging his clients a penny for the service. Don't get me wrong, the smart businessman is not going to work for free. He will get paid every time, but his clients sim simply won't be the ones footing his bill. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. This is all real. Of course, he will have to explain how all of this is possible. So we will go on yet another of his cross-country tours, but this time instead of promoting his latest book, he will be promoting his real estate company and explaining to the hundreds of people who will gather to hear him every time how his firm is able to represent buyers without charging them for the service. And once again, reporters, television crews, and local realtors will attend to find out how he's able to do this. So he will explain to the crowd that the Multiple Listing Service, or MLS, is a commission sharing system that allows two real estate firms to be involved in the same transaction, one with the seller and one with the buyer. And that it is very common for the two firms to share the MLS commission paid by the seller in a 50-50 fashion. Half the money go into the firm on the seller's side of the deal and the other half to the firm on, that brought in the buyer. He will say that this arrangement is nothing new, that things have always been this way ever since the system was first introduced in the 1950s. And it is at this time that he will let his audience in on a little fine-tuning that happened with the MLS system in the mid-1990s. He will tell them that up until that change, there was a rule that prevented the money from being shared with the second firm if that second firm worked for the buyer. And that it was understood by all the members of the industry that in order to collect the money, everyone had to be looking out for the best interest of the seller. Working for the buyer and collecting the cash was prohibited. Well, the managing of this rule had been less than perfect over the years, and because of legal issues it had created, it was quietly removed. And ever since then, real estate agents in Canada have been allowed to fight for buyers and collect the money. And every night, Mr. Turner's next move will be to pull out real real estate listings from the city where he is at 
to show the crowd that what he's saying is in fact true. So he will proceed on giving them the address of a few local homes currently for sale and tell them how much money his firm would collect if one of its clients bought the place. And it would be like $10,000 here, $6,000 there, $25,000 on this one because it is more expensive and so on. And every time he'd conclude by saying that he could keep doing this all night because it is mandatory for all MLS homes to offer something to the firm that will accompany the buyer. And that is just how the system has always worked. And before anyone asked him, he would confirm with his audience that his company would have to charge its clients on a private sale since the seller refuses to pay a commission, but that they don't charge their clients on the purchase of MLS listings as long as the share of the commission money they stand to receive is reasonable, which it almost always is. And this would lead him to explain what happens when purchasers buy a house directly from the agent on the sign, instead of doing the smart thing and hiring their own real estate advisor. And it is at that point that all the realtors in the room would cringe since they would know that he's about to tell the public about double M. Transactions where the listing company is the only firm involved on the deal and ends up keeping a commission it had agreed to share all for itself since the buyers didn't bother getting properly represented on the transaction. Even though I don't personally know Garth Turner, from reading his blogs, I picture him as a very flamboyant type of individual, someone like the famous hockey coach Don Cherry, someone who's not afraid to call people names for doing things that he believes are stupid. So in that Don Cherry style, I imagine him telling everyone in the audience that they are a bunch of idiots if after hearing his talk tonight, they ever buy a home without their own real estate agent and let the listing company enjoy a double-ender. He would explain that he understands that this may have never been explained to them before, but that from here on, they no longer have an excuse. I picture him banging his fist on his pulpit, saying, the firm on the sign works for the seller and doesn't work for you. His job is to sell you the home for as much money as possible. Don't be stupid. Don't go there. Don't talk to these guys. Get your own agent. It's 100% free on the purchase of almost any MLS listing. Call us instead. We will book the appointment, accompany you on the viewing, tell you everything that we find wrong with the house, and negotiate the price down on your behalf. So he would then conclude his presentation by telling people about the rough patch that the real estate market is about to hit that for a lot of people, renting and saving their money could be the best things for them to do right now. And that for those determined to buy a house, even in bad conditions, that they should be extremely careful and take their time and avoid rushing into spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there you have it. The Gart Turner Project is a multi-million dollar venture that I think will be extremely successful for him because he has everything going for himself. He's a high profile Canadian. He's a man with money for advertising. He's got extensive experience with buying real estate and he already has a huge internet following and a service that cost buyers nothing and could save them thousands. How could he ever mess this up? It's practically impossible. The company Mr. Turner is about to open will employ buying specialists that are called Exclusive Buyer Agents or EBAs. This thing is nothing new. EBA offices can be found in all 50 U.S. states south of the border. But to my knowledge, there are only two of them in Canada. There is my firm here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and another one in Edmonton, Alberta. And that's it. 
The market is ripe for agents that protect buyers exclusively. There are approximately 450,000 residential MLS transactions in Canada each year and all of these buyers could be represented by an EVA. The buyer market is a huge market and it is currently not being tapped by anyone. Well, Mr. Turner will take care of that. So my prediction is that within the next three to five years, he or someone else, if he waits too long, will take a chance on this concept and turn the industry on its head. I say this because when buyers realize that it is foolish not to have your own independent agent on an MLS purchase since it's free, double enders will practically disappear and almost all MLS transactions will involve two real estate firms and a huge chunks of the ones on the buyer side of the deal will be EBA offices. I've been an EBA for 16 years and helped close to 300 families and individuals buy an MLS home in the Halifax area and not a single one of them has ever had to pay me or my firm a penny for our services. Opening a small EBA office has worked great for me. But I'm not interested in starting a franchise and go on a cross-country tour to promote it. I'm happy doing my little thing here in Halifax. But I really want Canadians to finally learn how things work in real estate so they stop dealing with the company on the sign directly. And I truly believe that Garth Turner is the guy who will finally make this happen. So I decided that my contribution would be the creation of the Buying a Home in Canada website. A specialized place on the web where everything that I know about real estate is available for free to the public. Everything is on that side. There's a huge 177 page home buying manual as well as several hours of videos just like this one. I'm even hoping to create a little network to help buyers find professionals who share my opinions in their local area. So anyway, I hope you will take advantage of all the free information you will find on the site. Buying a home is a huge financial decision and I believe that the more you know about the industry and the art of buying and selling houses, the better your chances of a successful transaction. And watch out for Garth Turner. I really believe the man is about to do something huge. So good luck with your purchase and thank you for watching.